telling you, this kid cannot keep his eyes off of me. But he said, oh, you wouldn't know if I had my eyes on you if you was looking at me. Hey, girl, hey. So, thank you for clicking on my very, very, very first YouTube video. And first thing I want to say is thank you to those who have been supportive of me since I first said I was going to start a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, I remember when I told you guys I was going to be a YouTube, I wanted to be a YouTuber. You guys were like, oh my god, that's lit, that's lit. And yeah, so here I am. And as you guys read by the title, it's going to be a Q&A for those who don't know me. Just so you guys will get to know me and so you guys what my channel is going to be like and so on. So why don't I just, just like, you know, jump into it, right? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. My name. What is your name? My name is Diana Veloz. I don't have a middle name. My mom wanted to name me Melissa. But my dad said no, it's gonna be Diana. He found it when he was working and he wrote it down because he liked the way it was spelled. So he was like, her name is gonna be Diana. Because everybody likes my name. Everyone says like, oh, your name is like very unique. It's spelled differently. Because there's some Diana that just spelled with one N. Okay, now I'm rambling. Okay, never mind. Um, where are you from? I'm Ecuadorian from Guayaquil. I eat seafood. For those who always think I eat goy, I don't. I don't know why everyone comes at me. <laughs> don't come at me. Thank you. How tall are you? I'm 5'3 and a half. The half count, guys. Half count. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next one. How old are you? I'm 19. I was born June 14, 2000. How many siblings do you have? So I'm the only child. So it would be me, my brother, Michael. So it would be me, my brother, Michael, my other brother, Ruben, and my sister, Lily, and then my little sister now, which is Sarita. And I know I have two others, Michelle and Jonathan, if I'm not wrong. Michelle or Jonathan or Michelle and Brian? I don't know. Um, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Yes, I do. His name is Bannon. That's my Bannon. My Bannon. Um, how did you guys meet? Okay, if you guys want to know how we met, it's going to be another story time where I'll have him with me because there's two sides of the story. Because my side, I'm telling you, this kid cannot keep his eyes off of me. But he said, oh, you wouldn't know if I had my eyes on you if you was looking at me. And I'm telling him, no, I felt you looking at me. I had to look away. And he was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, what is your favorite Netflix show? I have a lot. I have a lot. Like, I have a lot. But well, my main one is, oh my god. For those who don't like it, please don't talk to me or please just watch the first episode and then come talk to me. Because don't judge a book by its cover, basically. My favorite TV show is The Vampire Diaries. Oh my god, that show is bomb. Like, the way the fights happen, how dramatic it is. Listen, I'm dramatic. And for them to be dramatic, they top my dramaticness. So I'm just like, yes, top me, top. And my second TV show would be... I don't know. It would be Young and Hungry. I forgot her name on the show. Gabby. Now she, she Gabby on the young, young and Hungry. She's fire, fire. And her best friend, I forgot her best friend's name. Uh, her best friend's name, Gabby's best friend's name. I forgot, but her best friend that she lives with, she fired too, girl. And my third TV show would be Good Girls. My boyfriend put me on. It's not good, yo, if y'all, if y'all watch it, watch it. It's good. 
are you like your zodiac sign suggests that you would be so my zodiac sign says that i'm i can either be cheap or save money or and i could be two-faced so that could go many many ways so i am cheap like let me let you know now i am cheap like i will not spend money on things that i feel like i shouldn't spend money on and then i do save money like if, um and two-faced it's it it doesn't go like ha, ha, ha. no it's more like i'm calm one minute but if you get me upset <sighs> please leave me alone and walk away from me because i'm gonna need 30 minutes for you to leave me alone it's whatever um who was the first person you ever fell in love with Bennett. yeah fell in love with Bennett. and would you ever change anything about yourself if so what would it be how sensitive i am so sensitive when it comes to like family Oh, oh. Okay. Jesus. Um, do you have any piercings and tattoos? I don't have any tattoos. I would like some, but my mom says no. And then my boyfriend says, like, I'm pure, so I don't need it. But I want one. I want one. Guys, I want one. Please tell him to let me get one. My mom says if I get one, she's going to burn me. Um, oh, I do have piercings. I have my first one and my second one. My second one, one of my best friends took me to take it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, because if it weren't for her, I would just have one. Thing that you think about when you're alone. My future. Like, my future is always on my mind. I think about what life I want to have for my kids, what I don't want my kids to go through that I've, I've went through, and I want to prevent it from happening to them. I think about how I can like grow as a person. I think about so many things. Oh my god. Like I am so focused on my future. Um if you had all the money in the world, what would what what would be the first thing you would buy? I wouldn't buy anything. That's a hundred percent true. Like I'm being so honest right now. I wouldn't buy anything. What I would do is I would give that money to my parents so they can retire. Before I make myself happy, I would want to make my parents happy because that's the most like that's the least I can do for them. You know, you know, get me, get me, get me. thanks. 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 Who gives you the courage to try new things? This is the last question because I have no more questions. Um, the last the person who gives me the courage to try new things would be Ben. He pushes me to like do better and be better. He makes me try foods that I don't like. Hey guys, I don't like avocado. Yeah, I know. I'm Spanish and I don't like avocate. I don't. It's nasty. Oh my god. I just, I've tried it. Don't tell me I didn't try it because I've tried it and I just, it just, I just can't. I just can't. And then maduros. I don't like maduros. Maduros is like this plantain. It's like a banana plantain. It was like squishy. I don't like it. Like, I, okay. I've tried that one. I say it good three times and I just don't like it. I've even tried it with cheese. I just don't. It just doesn't doesn't roll with me it doesn't want to roll so well if you guys like this video i guess give it a thumbs up or like subscribe to my channel or like share my channel or like i don't know i don't know just yeah well thank you for watching for my q a and stay tuned for more videos because i would like to post consistently i'm going to try to do three days to two days three to two days posting on youtube about different things so i have a lot of ideas for the youtube channel thing magic so please stay tuned and please support and spread the word thank you
How do I say goodbye? Okay, goodbye guys. Thank you.